Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And today, it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Denmark against England. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important that they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel begins in goal. Andreas Christensen starts alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. Christian Eriksen plays alongside Pierre Emil Heubier in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Paul Walker plays with Kieran Trippier as fullbacks. Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. And so the match is underway. Pabier. Could be doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Christian Eriksen now. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Options in the centre. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. And the referee has given them a corner. And over from Ericsson. Appeared to be in two minds. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That strong play. Javier. Return to Ericsson. Terrific save. Kick taken by Christian Eriksen. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Over it comes. And still dangerous. Christian Eriksen now. They've given it away.
Well, last time out at the Euros, England fell at the final hurdle, losing in the final itself at the hands of Italy on penalties. But you look at the squad, you look at where England should be, and we're led to believe, Stuart, that this could well... Bellingham! Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Now, how about the short corner? Well, behind for another corner. They favoured a short one here. Kane. On to Walker. Trippier. Must take the lead here. Well, a vital interception to snuff out the danger. Fabier. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Lovely ball over the top. Ericsson. Stopped a surefire goal. Bellingham and on to Alexander Arnold Jude Bellingham and using his strength to shield the ball Bellingham and Bellingham Alexander Arnold and in the right position to read it good example of pressing without the ball Declan Rice Bukayo Saka and Denmark doing well to regain possession well there was impending danger but good defending Kane Bellingham Phil Foden now and foul it is then and a simple clearance a good one Alexander Arnold and on to Bellingham crucial piece of defending Bellingham plenty of support here Walker it was a menacing attack but tidied up well let's see what they have in store for them on the break Jonas Vint Fabien, on to Ericsson, real chance, and it's in, 1-0, they've breached the defence. Well, let's take another look, he's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot, what a good goal that is. So underway again here, one nil to score. Foden. Trippier now. Declan Rice. It's 
neat passing, confidence on the ball. Rice. And on to Bellingham. Rice. On to Alexander-Arnold. Rice. England struggling to keep hold of it. This might be ideal for the counter. Alexander Bar. He could pick out a teammate. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Jude Bellingham Kane and on to Alexander-Arnold Harry Kane Alexander-Arnold now with Kane Trippier looking for someone to play it to Alexander-Arnold, Rice, back with Alexander-Arnold, Rice, can he finish? A simple for the keeper. Possession one, and Bellingham. This could square the game. It's still alive. Walker. Denmark have it back now. Jonas Vint. Going for Denmark. Well, no surprise there. England have enjoyed most of the possession, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Jude Bellingham. Kane and Bellingham keeping possession of the ball with authority well it did look promising but no threat in the end Alexander Arnold they've chosen to go through Harry Kane options around him Fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Now, maybe room here for the counter attack. Fabier. He's protecting it effectively. Being egged on by the crowd. Oh, fine stop. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, not away properly. Kerr. On to Ericsson. Oh, big opportunity. 
There it is. Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. Two nil now, and back on the way. Foden. Now with Bellingham. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Alexander Arnold. Walker now. Alexander Arnold. Teammates available. Hoybier. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Read it well, cleared it well. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, the story as far as Jude Bellingham is concerned, a struggle for him to make an impact. Yeah, he's not had his usual impact, has he? He just hasn't got on the ball in dangerous positions. He's got to keep working hard to find that little bit of space to make something happen, that's for sure. And the game begins. Options in the center. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. And the referee has given them a corner. Terrific save. And the ball is rolling again. England left with a massive mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? And Bellingham. He read the situation defensively and did his job. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Chances on. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Saka. And foul it is then. A 
Oh, tremendous vision. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here it is again. And just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. Underway again with the score at 3 1. Rasmus Hoilun. Hoibier. Hoibier. Is this the moment? The save was a good one. One terrific save after another. Jude Bellingham. Bukayo Saka. Walker. Well, a really good run. And Bellingham could reduce the deficit. Well, that's the sign of a well-organized defense. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. And Bellingham. Rice. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. And what a magical save it was! Over it comes. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper, Bellingham. Oh, what the goal! Right out of the top drawer. Who could do better than that? Well, here it is again. And all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. So back underway, and here's the question. Can England come up with another goal? Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Kea. Christensen. Passing it accurately. Ericsson. Oh, wasteful from Denmark. Alexander Arnold. Alexander Arnold. Now with Walker. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Christensen. Jonas Wint. Hoylund. Alexander Arnold. Walker now. Bellingham. Trent Alexander Arnold. Kane. And on to Bellingham. And a decent save. Full credit. Jonas Wint. 
Advantage played. Everyone wants to see officials let the play flow in that manner, but now the free kick has to be awarded. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Harry Kane. Now Harry Kane on the move. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. So the corner played into the box. Well, it's astonishing. A very unlikely comeback. But now they are level, having trailed by three. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Not many sides would have the mental strength to bounce back from adversity like this team. Jonas Vint. Eriksson. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Jude Bellingham. Kane. Oh, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? And that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Ericsson. Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. Favouring the short one. Christensen. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Foden. Now Harry Kane. Not the best challenge, free kick. just wasn't going to part with the ball can he put them in front yes is the emphatic answer and you have to say it was on the cards well here's the goal again and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is and from there he never looked like missing that's a lovely goal A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Kane. Now still pressing for a goal here. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Oh, but they've lost it now. Morten Hulman. 
An awful lot of green space to run into. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Declan Rice. Now Harry Kane. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Oh, he's blocked it! This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Rasmus Hoylund. Oh, surely! And fine goalkeeping. Jude Bellingham. Now Harry Kane. Phil Foden. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. And what can they do to stop him running at them? And holding the ball up in a decent position. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle, and a corner will be next. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Well, I thought that was a certain goal. If they do hold on to this lead, the keeper will be getting all the adulation. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. Kane is showing a real will to win the ball. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Schmeichel on the ball, Yannick Vestergaard. And clears the danger. Oh, what an opportunity! In it goes! To increase their advantage! And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? goes past his man with such ease and it's just a change of pace and his movement's so clever once he gets onto it there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible what a good goal not a scoreline we see all that often 5-3 And it's Harry Kane on the run. Alexander-Arnold. And a useful cross. And they deal with the threat this time. And there it is, the final whistle. Danish dynamite comes through. A victory for Denmark here. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice incisive play too. It's a good result for them. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals. Fabien. <laughs> chance and it's in 1-0 they've breached the defense